Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Horizons 3. Do you notice anything different? Do you notice anything different about the house? Anything at all? If you answered there are no more torches spammed all over the floor, you are correct. So, um, yeah, basically between episodes... Um, and this was uh, thanks to a comment who reminded me that this was a thing. Uh, I went ahead and I made a template for chisels and bits and replaced some of these spruce wood planks with chisels and bits blocks. So let me show you how this works. Uh, let's grab our bit bags here. Grab our chisel. Where's our chisels and bits chisel? Is it not called a chisel? At, ah, huh, maybe it broke. <laughs> maybe I actually broke my chisel. Uh, anyway, I'll just make another one, no big deal. So basically, um, what I did, and uh, while we're at it, let's grab that too. There we go. So basically what I did is I took a spruce log like this, right? Just a regular old spruce block. Uh, this is not the best location to demonstrate this. Uh, try over here. Yeah, this is much better. So I took a regular spruce block and I shredded it into a bazillion pieces. And then I took a glowstone block and shredded that into a million pieces. Changed this to plain, put down one layer of glowstone. And then the rest is just spruce. And now this block uh, is essentially like a, a, light, a hidden light source, and it will generate more light depending on how much uh, glowstone you put in, but it generates enough that I spammed a couple of these around, they're kind of all over the place here, and uh, essentially we've got this beautiful chisels and bits hidden light source. See? Works just like that, and you can't see the glowstone because it's hidden underneath, and it, uh, it provides a fairly simple way to do it. And then what you can do is you can take this, uh, you can just you know, put it down, and then you can grab a, a chisel design, make one of these, and then you just right click, and now I can replace anything with this, and it, it works. It just, it gets the job done. So, let's just uh, get rid of that, and I've spammed those kind of all around the house, so we now have this whole thing lit up without torch spam, and that's wonderful. I'm so glad. Uh, what I want to do today is a couple of things. First of all, I want to do a little bit more decorating around the interior of the house because, you know, we've got the downstairs kind of uh, mostly cleaned up. Like, there's still some work we have to do down here, like this room and, and some of that kind of stuff. But we have a style. Uh, we've established a style, and that's the hard part for something like this. The rest of it is just kind of mimicking the same style. Oh, I also uh, fixed this up between episodes as well. But the upstairs is still pretty barren. All I've got here is a bunch of empty rooms with, you know... Some random storage drawers and some technical machines just kind of laying around, and it's not really that good looking. So I want to kind of dig in a little bit to a couple of mods here, the first of which is Bibliocraft. Uh, this is a pretty awesome mod that allows you to do all sorts of pretty awesome things. I need some oak planks. There we go. And then we'll just go boop, boop, like that. And let's just make four oak tables, okay? And we can just put those right here. And that gives us like this nice little table. And we can use this as like a dining room table or, or whatever. Um, so how much oak do we actually have? We got a bit. We should be okay. Let's just do something like that. There we go. And there's all sorts of stuff in chisels and bits. There's, really? Chair is not a thing? Is it? I guess we gotta go bibliocraft and do it, find it this way. Uh, so you can make, like, seats. We've got a bunch of strings, so I'm just gonna make... Ooh, we actually don't have that much string. Um, either way, we'll make four of those. And three of those. I'm out of... Why? Wait, why is it making oat seat, oak seat back? Huh? Okay, maybe that's a JEI bug, or maybe I'm just an idiot. But I won't know until I get more wool. Or maybe we need to make these framing boards? 
framed seats. No, 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 that's, this should work. According to this recipe, anyway. What's the recipe for the back? Did I just not have enough? Oh, I didn't have pressure plates. Yeah, okay, so it's confirmed. I'm an idiot. Got it. Okay, well, fine, fine. Um, let's grab... Okay, I do have a shears. Let's go find some sheep so we can do this properly and I can make myself not look like the fool that I occasionally am. Um, those are chickens. There's a sheep. Come here, sheep. I just want your wool. Um, I don't need a ton of it. I just need like eight wool total. Yeah, this will be fine. Here we go. This should give us enough between these couple of sheep here. I don't need a lot, just enough for a couple of chairs and that kind of stuff. There we go. How much do we have? Eight? That's probably enough, honestly. Especially since we won't have to make any more of those backs, since I made a ton of them by accident. Um, there we go. Okay, 14 wool. That's enough for us to get started here. So, what I'm thinking is I want to do like a little bit of a dining room. And then once we've got the dining room done, I want to make a little bit of a kitchen as well. So let's go at Biblio, right? We've already got our backs here. So let's go ahead and make four pressure plates and four of those. There we go. So if we go boop, 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 and then we can put the backs on these. This is a little funky to place. Like it's, I think you have to like stand. Yeah, the angle's a little weird, uh, but something like that'll work. And it's just kind of like a nice little breakfast sort of table thing. So that'll work. And then as far as the kitchen goes, we've got another mod called Cooking for Blockheads. And this mod, does this have to be, it has to be black stained glass. Okay, well, easy enough. This mod um, is really meant to go with Pam's Harvest Craft, which isn't in this mod pack, um, but it does give you some really cool, like, kitchen blocks. <laughs> so I'm going to make use of it anyway, even if we don't necessarily need to. Just make some more doors, make oh, two fridges. I just want to make some of these various different things. Um, smelt a book. Okay. Well, I suppose we can make some paper and a book and we can just throw that in here and it turns into Cooking for Blockheads 1, which is a recipe book. And we can toss that in here and turn that into Cooking for Blockheads 2, which is better recipe book, I guess. And then we can make the cooking table. Where did I get terracotta? Oh, probably from my uh, void resource miner. Got it. There's also some other really cool stuff too, like uh, the milk jar. There's a cow in a jar, which generates milk. A um, couple of tool racks, you know, like there's all sorts of pretty nifty and interesting stuff here. Kitchen counter. Let's make one of those. That's all the terracotta that I have right now. Uh, but I can make a stack of clay and just smelt that up and turn it into hardened clay and use that. But what I'm thinking is like, we'll go maybe the oven here. Uh, fridge, I think, makes the most sense in the corner, right? You probably want the sink over here and then just like a counter. And then the cooking table. Maybe something like that, right? And then up here, put down like a little tool rack for whatever. And my idea is like, we're gonna have kind of like a little kitchen area over here when it's all said and done. Let's grab this terracotta, toss that back in. And then there's a kitchen corner. So we could put that like this and it would kind of like wrap. Or it could just stay like that to kind of mark off like this is the edge, right? So that could be kind of cool. We could do kitchen floor. 
12. Interesting. Uh, so actually, let's kind of do that, I think. We'll probably want to make one more batch of these kitchen floor blocks. But still, right? Something like that. It's not a bad looking little area. Like it kind of works. And then I'm thinking we probably want to like mark. Here's what I'm thinking. I think we're actually going to change this up. We're going to put the sink. Oh, you go back. I think we'll put the sink right here next to the stove. And then we'll put this there. Grab the rest of this. Put you away. Give me another corner bit. Actually, give me two more corner bits, right? That's the corner. Yeah, so we'll do something like this. So I'm thinking like right here. Uh, nope, right there's a corner. And then we go like this. And then we say... That's a corner. So this is all kind of marked out as like the little kitchen area. And like it, I think it works. You know, you come in here, you got like your little kitchen sort of area for the house. It's not like super ideal that this is all here as well. But I don't think that's necessarily the worst thing in the world. The other option would be we could go like this, bring it out a little bit more. Right? Like here. One of these that I picked up was, yeah, the chiseled. There we go. And then I suppose you could even bring the counter, the kitchen counter back again. But something like this for the moment might be fine. Um, we've got a fridge. Oh, the fridge actually like opens and stuff too. That's really cool. Uh, and then what else? We oh, there's like a little toaster. That's pretty nifty. Uh, I think I want one... Oh, that's a spice rack. So can I just, like, put that... I see. So it floats, basically. So we'd have to put that, like, over here or something like that. But I think we want one more... tool rack... to go up here. And this is, like, our little kitchen. And I think it's kind of cool. And then, uh, as far as making this thing, like, nice and lit up, because I think that's probably something we want. We would probably want some sort of, like, light. Like an overhead... Is there, like, an overhead lamp at all? Uh, not really, but we do have these opal inverted lamps. Maybe what we could do is, like, bring this down, right, kind of hanging over, and then go, like, uh, an iron bar, just, like, right there. And then it's kind of, like, hanging down from the ceiling, lighting all this up. I, I kind of like that. I think that's good. So you got, like, a little bit of a kitchen area here when you walk in through this door. And eventually, we may want to convert, like, this whole room into a kitchen and dining area. Like, that could be pretty good. Because the idea is right now, you know, it's, uh, like, dining table is out here, kitchen's in here. But we have all this stuff that's kind of in the way. I may want to move this eventually. Um, I don't really want to move it right this second. Um, let's sleep real quick. This is currently the bedroom. And that's good and bad. If we go back to Bibliocraft, uh, we've got like bookshelves and some of that kind of stuff that's pretty cool. Alarm clocks, desks. I don't think there's really like a dresser at all. Workbenches, furniture paneler. Yeah, a lot of this stuff isn't really what we're looking for. Uh, and there's no deco craft in this pack or anything like that. I don't think there's any sort of like a... Yeah. So if we're going to make a dresser, we'd have to like design our own. 
And that's, you know, not horrendous, but also not super ideal either. So I think for now, we'll call this good. We'll, we'll just kind of leave it like this. But we I, I do want to kind of do little bits and pieces on the house kind of as we go working on, you know, kind of filling it and making it look like an actual house instead of just a conglomeration of various technical machines and stuff that are, that are kind of, you know, just hanging out. Um, but anyway, so that's all good. I think the next step, uh, as far as like tech goes, oh, and I did move this down, by the way. I know I said I was considering doing that. I think the next step as far as tech goes is probably like a cobble, a cobble works. Um, but I have kind of an idea for the cobble works and that's going to be kind of an episode like in and of itself. Cause there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff involved with that. Um, so tell you what, let me, uh, clean up a couple things here. Let me sort of figure out what I want to do next. I'll be back in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back and I think I have figured out what I want to do. So right now we're actually still rocking this, uh, standard diamond armor and like it is enchanted. It works. Uh, but there is a much better armor in this mod pack, and I think at this point we have all the stuff necessary to be able to get it. So, let's take a look at this. Uh, I believe it is, yeah, right here. This stuff, Flux Infused Armor. This stuff is essentially armor that uh, runs on RF, it stores RF, and it, it's uh, equivalent to Diamond and Protection, and it can be enchanted, so it's basically like better diamond armor um now to make these you need these fluxed armor platings and these are a little bit trickier so we need fluxed electrum in a compactor first of all i don't think we actually have a compactor so let's work on that first we're gonna need a machine frame there we go we're gonna need a couple of copper gears We'll need a redstone reception coil. And what am I missing? Ah, bronze. Okay, so grab tin and copper. Toss those in here. And that'll start making us some bronze. We'll just go like that. I think I need one more because was it bronze gears? I, I don't know. Either way, I'm going to need more bronze in the future, so I'll just let it run for a bit. There we go. So that gives us the compactor. I'm just going to put it here and we'll say, don't uh, don't worry about sides. Just like do your thing. OK, that's probably enough bronze. So there's that. Now, if we go back to fluxed electrum plates, what we need to make is a bunch of these fluxed electrum ingots so that we can make fluxed armor plating. Because for each of these fluxed armor plating, we're going to need one flux crystal, which is a diamond and flux crystal in uh, a fluid transposer with deep stabilized redstone. And then we're also going to need um, four of these fluxed electrum plates. And the fluxed electrum ingots are made differently than I remember. Electrum blend. So we can either use electrum blend. I think it ends up being the same. Because let's see, two electrum blend. Yeah, it basically ends up being uh, uh, the same. One, one gold, one silver, and a bucket of destabilized redstone. Or we can just make Electrum Blend like this. Okay, got it. So let's let's start uh, working on that a little bit. So let's see. For a full set of armor, we need 24. So I think first things first. Ooh, actually, come to think of it, we're going to need a lot of redstone for this. And like, I can start smelting a decent amount of it here. But each of these flux crystals is going to take 500. So we're going to need 12 buckets. Yeah, actually, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. We'll need 12 buckets for uh, the crystals. 
And then the armor plating, each one of these is going to require... Five hundred, half a bucket as well for every one of these, and then basically you just cook that with sand to make flux electrum ingots. Okay, got it. So basically, for every flux electrum ingot, we're gonna need half a bucket as well. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of redstone, but I think we can manage. So tell you what, I think I'm gonna upgrade our magma crucible. So let's go kits here. I don't have everything I need to make this, but I will. We'll do that. There we go. So you're now Signalum. And then can I make one of these? Pyrothium dust. And the only thing I need is Enderium, I think, right? Yeah. So we need to make Enderium Blend, which is Platinum and Tin, I believe. Combined with Resonant Ender. If I recall. Which, of course, <laughs> my Magma Crucible is working on something else right now. Um, I really don't want to make another magma crucible so tell you what let's take that out give me another tank do i have an empty one glowstone yeah this is just an empty tank right here we'll put that up here and we'll say output to up here for a minute grab some ender pearls smelt me up a bucket of resonant ender it'll take a minute but that's fine and then we'll just grab one bucket And there we go. Lovely. And then I think it's just like that. No, 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 that's not it. Okay. Uh, maybe it's silver. Oh, you know what? Let's just double check here. Let's actually look it up. Enderium, it's lead and platinum. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Uh, boop. Lovely. Got that. We want to go there what did I do with the did I mess it oh no 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 it's right here here we go there so now we got our enderium blend uh, let's grab a little bit of sand toss that in here and that will make me my enderium that I need good okay now we should be able to make the final upgrade kit. We'll put that in our magma crucible and toss that back in there. Break this because we, we want it to go to here. And then finally, let's go augments and give me two of these speed upgrade augments. That should speed this whole process up a lot because I'm going to be using this magma crucible like crazy. Uh, and actually, I'm going to be using the Fluid Transposer, too, but the, the Magma Crucible is the bit that takes forever. Okay, so let me get some of this done. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, I am back. So I did the math, and you need exactly a stack and a half of these Fluxed Electrum plates, uh, and that will be enough. So then we go here. We do that. We do that. We take the rest of these, and we do that. There we go. That is 24. So this should be enough for one full set of armor awesome so now we have the full set of armor but it's not charged so we need to make sure we get it charged up so i think the easiest way for us to do that is to make one of these energetic infusers right here and this thing is basically like a, a way to charge stuff so it's going to fill up we'll throw this in and you can see it's going to start generating charge it's not like super super quick but it'll get the job done over time. Um, and it will, you know, go a little faster once this thing's actually... Is it really limited? It's really limited to 50 RF per tick. Wow, that's really slow. Um, okay, what if we upgrade... There. 
Let's just throw an upgrade kit or two on it. So we'll go boop, boop, like that. And then let's just see, as far as augments go, are there any augments for the, uh, the electro, what, 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 what was the thing he called? The energetic infuser. Are there any augment, compactor, fractionings, energetic infuser? Allows for rechargeable items to be charged very rapidly. Sounds like that's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, so let's go here. Make silver plates. Um, well, you know, we did make the compactor for a reason. So let's make silver plates. There we go. Toss those in. We've got a lead ingot. Oh, we need to make one electrum gear. There we go. So now, if I put that in here... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so much better. That's like a million times faster. Look at that. 18,000 RF per tick. That's way faster. That'll do. Okay. So now these things can actually charge at like a reasonable speed, and you can kind of like put one in queue or in line so that when, you know, this one finishes... It'll start the next one right away. It's going to chew through some of our power. But this is really the only thing that I want to use this energetic infuser for at the time, uh, for now, at the moment. is just recharging our armor, basically. And there we go. So this stuff is now all fully charged. We can put it on. Not only do we look awesome. You guys have probably seen me wear this armor in other series in the past. Because I, I do really like the way this armor looks. Uh, but, you know, it gets the job done, too. So there you go. We have a kitchen. We have sweet armor. Life is good. Unfortunately, though, what we don't have is any more time for this episode. So, guys, I do have to call this one right here. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.